Hello folks, we are back playing Baldur's Gate. My name is always is Fuzzy. I have been not making videos again. Have you noticed? I have. Yeah, it's because I'm kind of busy. I always use that excuse, but... I'm um, now, I'm currently in the stage of revising for my university exams in Oh, about a week is my first exam, so, yeah. Fun times. I've worked out where I'm going, by the way, you might have noticed. Owning up some kobolds, left, right, and centre. Okay. Uh, also, recording has once again been made easier. I haven't made a video since Christmas, so you don't know this, but... Uh, for Christmas, I obtained... A oh, Jesus. God <laughs> damn fire queer, arrows. Fellow. Okay, let's drink a potion and have it done with. Um, I what obtained a rather do? nice headset, so now I don't have to lean over at an awkward angle right, to speak right. into a microphone because I can quite easily access it by talking it into my head. You heard me. I'm talking into my head. You know what I mean. What you want? This okay, way. one of these had fire arrows. I want fire arrows as well as some normal arrows, just because you can never have too no many arrows. All right, all right. Yep. Unless your inventory's full of them, which I've is the case for a lot of my characters. But, you know, it was must be this one then. Because one of them, like, owned the hell out of him. And I know it says you can't identify them, but they're fire arrows, basically. Fairly obvious. In all honesty. Right. Hurry up! Anywho, let's keep moving along. I believe the exit to the fourth level is right around here. If it isn't, I am gonna have to go. Oh no, there it is. Oh. Whoops. Whoops. Forgot about traps. See, that's why you don't just come in back from a break. My mouse isn't working. There we go. This is why you don't come back from a break all confident, saying you know what to do when you clearly don't. Because I just ballsed up by not looking for traps, because it's been about a week since I last played this. In fact, more than a week. It's been like <sighs> nearly two weeks. Hell is going on here. There we go. What would you have me right. do? Let's get down here. Let's do this again. If you insist. Although I do like Minsk, he doesn't have a ranged weapon, so I don't want to run him into his death. Because when I was testing this video, he ran into his death and got shot instantly by fire arrows. Which wasn't too happy. So. Cool Goodbye for now, my strange companion. Your life and we'll just shoot him instead. Okay. And then you My can actually see me make some progress. Down this side. Oh yeah. For the fallen! Do make some strange noises in these cobbles. I feel so cold. Kill that one, these are fires. Oh. Uh, uh, right. I didn't have this much trouble last time. I'll uh, meet you back soon. Alright folks, you've seen me disarm traps before, but here we go. This is what I ran into last time. Three lovely traps. What would All you disarmed. Have well? No trouble. by Imoen. So, come on. Yep, okay. So yeah, another thing about the fact that I'm with a headset now is that you might not be able to hear me clicking keys all the time anymore, which annoyed me, if not you, it annoyed you me when I had to watch my videos back forth. to make sure they worked properly. It was like click, 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 it's like shut up, shut up, shut up. Okay. What is going on? That was a bit odd. Let's talk more fight for the fallen! Slow-mo 
Baldur's Gate there. Something's bothering my computer. They'll be running a scan or something like that. Perfect timing, well done. Good job, AVG. There we go. I think we're back now. <sighs> so weird. Right, okay. Go for the eyes, fool! Go for the eyes! Go for the eyes, fool! Go for the eyes! So awesome. So, so awesome. Okay. Oh, there's a. Is that an exit? Is a. I don't want to go in there just yet. Not yet. Let's have an explore. I think this is the final area. Anywho. Yep. We're getting ghouls. No trouble. Oh, for Christ. Why do you do this game? This really isn't a good day. I'll be back in a minute. Fellow, right. This way. Hmm. What do we have here? Web. Okay. Well. What would you have me? All right. All right. Or Honda hold on to it like I do most scrolls, which I haven't had chance to use yet. Who knows? Who knows what uh, I may find? I get a feeling going to the Null Stronghold might have been a better idea first than coming here. Because, well. Yeah, when I was looking up where to go. Yes, I read a guide on where to go because I didn't want to be wasting too much time. Um, it seemed to suggest going to the Null Stronghold before Nashville Mine, so. Whatever. We like to do things out of order. That's the beauty of this game. You can just completely break the order and go where you shouldn't. Don't know, it depends where you feel about linear and non-linear games, but I don't know. I like it. I like it. Okay. Oh, what is that? Grey ooze. Uh, Cool I'd one. stay out of there just for now. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah, stay. You point butt kicking for goodness. Stay out of there, Minsk. My friend. Cause that was not so pretty. Attack. Oh. Can I help Nature you? servant awaits. No, we haven't even got any healing spells. We'll just have to hope this goes okay. Very well. Again. Let's talk more fight. Hurry up. Oh, no. Cool My selection fight. fails in this game. Right, okay. More oozes. Oh, no trouble. No trouble whatsoever. What would you have me do? They give quite a lot of XP. Oh, uh, that looks like an actual exit. That's a travel thing. So, all right. Well, now we've explored here. We'll go back to this this weird door place. I don't know what could be in here, but I imagine the conclusion to whatever is going on in this mine might be through here, so uh I suppose it's worthwhile checking out oh dear. Excuse the eating sounds. I'm enjoying some you must gather your party before venturing white forth. chocolate coins. Nom nom nom. In a section. All right, all what else right. am I supposed to call it? Really? Okay, just more cobbles. You point. I punch. 
Oh, my heart's really not in this. Your life ends. It's just satisfying killing kobolds because they don't da go down so easily. Cut you down to side. Look what? Up. How are you getting here? Uh, I walked in. Well, hey. Tazok must have dispatched you, you tra- you... Tazok must have dispatched you. And my traitorous kobolds let you pass, did they? I knew I could not trust him, armed by such you. It's seen the scent to kill me, by Sirik. Not a measure of my... All loses mine and spoiled, and I'm still to be executed. I'll not lose my head over this. Uh, no one assenters, but thy head is in no less danger. Reveal thy treasure here. Mayhaps we will be merciful. Okay, Tazak did his entry. Then thou art dead. Help, my minions. Help! Amazing. Whoa, what the... Dickens, kobolds, skeletrons. Oh, dear. Uh, we'll have a go, but honestly, I don't think this will be too successful. Just by the sheer number of them. Oh, there we go. I managed to defeat him. I yield, I yield to V, accept my surrender. Uh. Should I try and kill him or No, tell me what has been happening here. Okay. He's just trolling. Oh, come on, Minsk, we were doing so well. I get the feeling this may take a few attempts and I'll probably need to heal up a wee bit before I continue. So let's rest. You do not dream often, but tonight the visions are vivid indeed. Long have you walked, but now you find yourself back amidst the stones of Candlekeep. Your former home looms before you, but the gate is closed and barred. Over the walls there is a candle in your old room, but as the light goes out, the brick surrounding the window closes together. The very walls conspire to keep you at bay. A familiar voice startles you. Though it is calm and caring, you cannot go back this way, child. You must go on. Gorion forms before you. And though his image should be comforting, it seems but a shade of his living self. He is dead in your dreams, as in life. The phantom of your foster father gestures toward the blackness of the wood, as though it should be inviting. Perhaps it is, in a way, but the traveling will be hard. As you think this, a smooth and obvious path becomes clear out of the corner of your eye. It seems meant for you, pulls at your very being, and promises to quickly lead you away from the life you once led. Perhaps this would be for the best, but it is a bit too convenient for your liking. You do not wish to dwell upon the loss you have endured, but neither should it be forgotten. Gorion smiles and fades away. The pull becomes a push, but you turn away, steadfast in your new direction. The way is not quite as clear, but it is sure to be interesting nonetheless. A whisper follows as you stride away, something vestigial and sinister that you recognize, but yet have never heard. You will learn. You don't look back. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that whatsoever, but there we go, a little dream sequence. What would you have me I gained do? Cure Light Wounds. Woohoo! Awesome, that'll be useful for, well, curing people. Go heal Minsk. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. Yeah. You guys you. shoot out <laughs> Cobble. Supposed to be healing up here, Cobble people. My oh, blade will cut you down to size. Oh. I didn't see him there. Okay. Here. Where was yes, I? Yes, oh omnipresent authority figure. I was healing. 
Alright guys, I'm having to do a bit of uh, post-commentary here because uh, at the end of the last bit I got a phone call and then I started Fraps recording again, no trouble, or so I thought. But then I ended up, well, now I've just watched it back. All of the audio for this next bit of the video has failed. I've never done this before, so if it's a bit boring, cut me some slack because I've got about 8 minutes to fill and I've got to talk about it as though I don't know what's happening. Well. In actuality, I'm going to talk about it, and I'm going to tell you how it happened. But I couldn't really re-record this bit because I saved over, and it was badass anyway. So, you know, you'll just have to deal with the fact that I balls up. Well, it wasn't even my fault. It was Fraps's fault for some reason. Basically, I was just healing up and blessing my party to go and take on Mullahay. But as I wandered down here and took out the... Uh, Kobolds, well, you'll see. You shall see, indeed. We found Zan, who is an enchanter, and is a complete miserable bugger, as I said in my commentary. Um, basically, all he's saying is that he got stuck down here for ages, and do you... Um, does he want me to... Does... I don't know what I'm saying. Would I like him to join me, basically? That's what I mean to say. <laughs> um, oh, I said, of course, go ahead, you're a mage, you're going to be quite useful. But, well, he's an enchanter, so technically he's not a full mage, he's specialised in just the enchanting spells, which means he can't cast anything useful, particularly like magic missile or fireball, so... Bit of a shame there, but never mind. He's got no weapons, he's got no equipment whatsoever. So I look down at his proficiencies and see he's got proficiency in small sword. So I think, fine, I'll go to a kobold and pick up a small sword, a uh, short sword, because that's a small sword weapon, right? Well, yeah, my bless just ran out because I'd spent too long faffing around with this. Um, I pick it up and then realise he can't use it because he's a mage, but he's got proficiency in small swords, so that was a bit of a dirt move by every design of character, because he has a completely useless proficiency for a weapon he can't use. Never mind. So I drop the sword, and basically, I think, well, I've, all my preparations were fine. Oh, here we go, now we're going to his spells. Um, so he's got colour spray, and he's got Charm Person. So, yeah, Color Spray is kind of useful. You can pause and read it if you want. Because um, I don't think I read it out. And I'm not going to read it out again because I'm not going to get a chance. But basically, Color Spray does some damage and random effects. And Charm Person charms the person. It's fairly self-explanatory, really. So I decide to, you know, save up and rest and all that kind of stuff so I can get my spells back. And essentially that's what happens. Rest up, no particular problems, no ambushes. Um, so yeah, I get Jahira to bless for party again. Now we're all healed up. And go and take on Mullahay. So there we go, we're all blessed now. Save again, because I'm petty and tedious and I like to save too many times. And I realise that the game's paused and it's still midway through a spell animation, so it won't let me save. Because I'm stupid. Um, so yeah, I'll save it again now. And down we go. And fight Mullahay. I just click any old random options and kill him. Right, so my tactics here was to get Zan to move up to the his minions and colour spray them, because that's like an area of effect spell, and get everyone basically to just pound on Mullahay. Except Jahira, who as you can see, I'm getting to cast Entangle on the group of them, so they can't move and come and swarm me and start doing stupid lucky shots and start attacking me and stuff. 
and then basically I just get everyone else to pound him into the ground. So yeah, here I am getting him to cast Color Spray on the group of minions. I'm not sure how effective that actually was in the end, it doesn't look like it really killed anybody. But, you know. And then the useful spell I cast was Entangle, because now you can see none of them can move, so like Split says second decision, I decide to run up out of the way so that nobody except Mullahay can actually attack me. And then basically, when everyone gets there, except the pathfinding's terrible, so a couple of them get stuck in his chamber, I basically just get everyone with ranged combat to shoot him. Because then he doesn't. Well, I've, I don't know if he ever makes it to me. We'll see in a minute, I guess. Basically, I get the top four to shoot him. And. Oh no, and then I change my mind and get Rexer to go hit him, I think. With a sword. Yeah. He just kind of stands around trying to cast spells, and then he goes into the bit where he yields, and I decide to just kill him because the other option didn't give any other particular thing. And I'm just checking that I didn't lose any reputation for it, I don't know why. Uh, and then basically I just get everyone to just beat him down. Ba as you can see, the tangle is working incredibly well, keeping all the cobbles at bay. So basically I run all my guys back up and get the people who can shoot once again. Or oh, in fact do I just get everybody? I don't know. I basically just get everybody to shoot some cobbles. Yeah, I get the people who can shoot to range attack the cobbles and clear them out. So the entangle was a great move there because it prevented me from getting swarmed and you'll see me doing stuff like that more often in the future. To be honest the combat hasn't been particularly challenging so far. The times I have died has been me because I'm recording not wanting to like seem like I'm wasting too much time like planning every little move because I don't know you know when you're recording you play games differently I've realised. Here I am shooting skeletons and realising that piercing damage does one damage to them, so I basically just run in with swords and go hit them in the end. But yeah, so I don't know, I've found, even though this is my first let's play, playing this game quite differently to how I've played it before, because I'm not wanting to waste too much time. So yeah, we go on, we beat down the skeletons, as you will see in a minute, even getting people like Zan to punch them, just for for the sake of it really, because I knew I wouldn't have any trouble clearing them out. And that's pretty much it, that's where I ended the video. I realised in the video commentary, which you'll never hear because it didn't get recorded, I didn't say, you know, any real closing comments, but it's been New Year, so hope you all had a good Christmas and New Year. If you don't celebrate New Year on the conventional New Year's Day, then Happy New Year for whenever you celebrate New Year. Um, but otherwise, I save the game, and that's about it. Thanks guys.